Welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, in this quick snippet tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a quick message alert system for your Fusion 2.5 games. Now, if you're unsure what uh, I mean by that, what I mean is if you're making like a simulation game or a tycoon game or something like that, and you need like a status bar at the bottom that scrolls across with periodic messages about the game, about the player, about the economy, about the environment, whatever it is, uh, there's a cool and effective way that you can do that in Fusion 2.5 with just a few values you can have total control over it as well so we're going to set up a system where you can just pass on a few commands including a message uh, and Fusion will handle all the events dynamically so um, as you can see here I've got like a makeshift game um, it's got like a burger store and a, and a shop I, I don't know what, what it's meant to represent but let's just say it's a tycoon game so the first thing I'm going to do is drop in a quick backdrop object um, just for the sake of this video tutorial so I'm just going to drop this uh, align it at the bottom like so I'm going to drop it down a couple of pixels and I'm going to put a border on it so let's go for black that's pretty much set um, I'm just gonna have a different color there we go and I'm gonna have a different color border as well let's uh, go for a, a green like that Make that a little bit bigger right so we can lock that into place uh, we just run our game we can see that it's just uh, there is a, like a placeholder obviously you're gonna have some better graphics yourself just make that a little bit bigger there we go I can lock that into place now I'm just gonna take off um, the heading and I'm gonna take off the menu bar right let's drop in a string so we've got our string this is gonna be our uh, status string just like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this out of the frame so let's uh, just drag it over here like this so it's just outside the frame like that uh, I'm going to change the font color to white right there we go that's pretty much the premise set design wise we don't need to do much more now uh, I'm going to use a few global values and strings for this so the first thing I'm going to do is create a string that says uh, message so it's going to be called message the first um, global value I'm going to create is a switch so I'm going to call it message underscore switch um, and that's uh, pretty much it um, we can develop on this but I'll just show you the basics for now so this switch just tells us what state the uh, message is in so if it's at zero the message is off the screen and it's here it's not doing anything as soon as we want to send a message uh, we set the state uh, this message switch to one and it will scroll the message along until it reaches the end it will reset it back to this position and it will close it down so let's do that in the events now so nice and neat let's create a group of events and we'll call it message we can deactivate this group and I'm going to use a debug key so when I press spacebar so let's drag it to the top so when I press spacebar we're going to activate the group message so we're going to send it uh, what the message is in the game so we're going to say um, what shall we do population of this town has risen to let's do um, 100 plus random 499 so when I press spacebar it's going to set that as the message the string message um, and it's going to activate the group so the first thing we do is do only one action when event loops so basically the start of the group we're going to set message switch to one just like that uh, really what I should have done there was um, put this message in the um, global message string there we go so as soon as we press spacebar we set the message of the uh, global string and then we activate the group message so when the group message activates the first thing it does is set the uh, message switch value to one so what happens when the message switch value is one we need to always make sure that we set another value and this other value is going to be the position so we're going to do x position message 
we're going to follow this because this the, the length of the string can change we need to make sure we're always following the right coordinate so what we do is when message switch is one we set the x um, position message value to the x coordinate of right edge so that's always going to get the coordinate of the right edge which is here uh, and all we do is we know this is zero on the x coordinate so all we do is just check whether it's how it's lower or equal than zero and we know that the full message has been displayed and scrolled across the screen and we can reset it then uh, so message switch uh, equals one uh, we're going to set that x coordinate all the time so we know where it's at and then we're going to move or a string across the screen so we're going to get its current x coordinate and we're going to minus um, let's do minus three just like that so if i give that a quick test now press space bar it should work there you go so we've got our text scrolling across the screen now we didn't set the message so we can do that in here so we can change alterable string to retrieve a global string and it's the message that we set earlier on up here so you can see in this event now the first event that happens is we set the message switch to one and we set the alterable string to the message that we sent so let's try that again now press spacebar and you can see population of this town has risen to 575 and it scrolls across the play area at the bottom now um, we need to detect when this is finished um, this is really um, quite easy to do all we do is we just say the exp uh, position of the message is lower or equal to zero we then reposition this to 640 which is the width of the frame so it's going to reposition it here as you can see so 643 at the minute so it'll reposition it here once it's finished we can set message switch to zero and we can deactivate the message group let's hit f8 and let's give it a try population of this town has risen to 139 it'll scroll across and it'll reset so when i press spacebar again we get the message goes across again now obviously in your game you won't be pressing spacebar to reveal the message you can have certain events that are set up that trigger this um, but you can see how quickly uh, you can produce um, something like that now if you wanted to be a little bit more jazzy about things you could create an active object out of this uh, quick backdrop like so uh, and we can do some cool fade in effects and fade out so around about there should do it um, and we can control these in here so we can create a value called a fade value uh, and that's a, an alterable value of this object itself uh, so at start we want to hide it because we're not going to use it um, and we want to set the initial uh, to 128 uh, we need um, we need a fade switch inside of here and we can control um, the fade in and out of the bar um, through here through the events uh, let me just order that um, to the back so that the string comes in front of it so when we press the space bar uh, we activate the message group and everything else um, we can set the fade switch to one just like that uh, and then we can look at the event where the message is finished um, and we can set the fade switch to zero so let's do another group now for our fading message box fade and we can just do something real simple uh, we can just do um, fade switch is equal to one we can do um, visibility make it reappear we can do effect set semi transparency to um, 128 what you're probably better off doing is setting the semi-transparency semi to the um, fade value that we've uh, initiated here I'll, we'll do that in a second so fade switch equals one um, we make the object reappear and it's going to start off at 128 which is completely transparent 
Um, so we do fade switch equals one and we drag in another um, condition which says if fade val is greater than zero then we subtract one well let's do two from the fade value uh, now we tell the box um, to disappear because we set the fade switch to zero at the end of the message so we can just copy this event down and change it to fade switch equals zero um, but the fade value is lower than 128 we can then add two to the fade value um, and then we can do fade switch equals zero and the fade value is uh, completely transparent we can then just make object invisible let's do only one action when event loops on that so it doesn't have to keep iterating over the event so this should work um, we, what we need to do is now tell fusion to set the semi-transparency of the object to its fade value which we're controlling here in the event so um, all we need to do is just drag this down that when fade switch is one we do effect compatibility set semi-transparency and we're going to set it to the fade value that we've set in the event so let's give that a try and there you go so when the message is finished it should fade out <laughs> it should fade out they oh, it disappears it doesn't fade out so what do we need to do there um, we need to do something um, it's because fade switch has jumped to zero so we can just replace this and just do always so you can see we press space bar now it fades the message bar in the message scrolls across the screen and it fades away we press space bar again you can see so you can add a little bit of polish to you if you want but you can see how simple in fusion 2.5 you can create something like this um like a little message system that's going to pop up in your game i came across this idea because i've been working on a, a simulation game uh, which includes uh, a pizza shop funnily enough uh, but yeah i just thought i'd share that tidbit with you um on how you can create a quick message system in your games in fusion 2.5